Paul Palacios es este, del grupo de investigación de bioastronáutica y, espa y espacio me mecatrón mecatrónica espacial, digamos, de, de la Universidad Nacional de Pedro Ruiz Gallo, Lima, Perú, y bueno, nos va a presentar este, un trabajo este, muy interesante sobre las comunicaciones de análisis de sistemas electrónicos de TEVA para este, monitorear la, la temperatura del cuerpo en actividades extravehiculares. Okay. Bueno, adelante, Paul. Bien, um, uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this project uh, is managed by the group of Bioastronautics and Space Mechatronics Research Group. Um, this group uh, was founded in, in January 2019 and as the first professional research group of its kind in Latin America as part of the Mars Society. Currently, it is an autonomous international group. We have members from Ibero-American countries working together with worldwide experts to develop innovative technologies to support the space human medicine, space veterinary medicine, and space physics and engineering divisions in order to improve the quality of life and exploration on Earth and space. The next slide, please. Um, well, um, this project um, started uh, to develop and design um, uh, almost two years ago. This project has uh, a lot of awards from uh, many countries around the world. Each of them uh, are uh, United States, um, uh, uh, Arab Emirates in Dubai, uh, also Mexico and other countries. The, the main purpose of this uh, project is to develop a monitoring system for the temperature in the upper limbs of the body during the uh, exploration activities of the astronauts uh, in the Mars uh, surface. Uh, we know that uh, the temperatures uh, on Mars uh, are from minus 80 Celsius to 30 cel Celsius. Well, so um, knowing this, uh, this context, we develop like um, a biomedical monitoring device and um, in order to um, uh, protect, protect the body from uh, hyper, uh, hyperthermia, hypothermia, and other uh, related conditions. Next slide, please. Well, uh, for that reason, um, we uh, we located uh, uh, some sensors in a specific locations of the upper limbs and also in the head in order to uh, optimize the monitorization of the temperature. Um, this project is going to, to be uh, uh, validated and developed on a Mars Desert Research Station, that is uh, the worldwide uh, like a command base or base command uh, in United States. Uh, this is a place uh, where the the most important projects that uh, are related uh, from space uh, are started there. So we uh, we're going to 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 bring our project. Um, to that dessert uh, for for the next year um, on May 2022. The next next slide, please. Well, um, first uh, this project uh, this paper is a is a second version of the of the project. In this version, we are uh, showing uh, the the next steps that are related to the telecommunications, uh, also the electronics, and also the design of the biomedical um, uh, bracelet that uh, I am going to uh, 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 I am going to tell in the next slides. Well, in this slide, you can see the peripheral sensors that are located in the in the arm. Okay, in the arm. Of the of the person. Next next slide, please. Um, here you can see in the table uh, some uh, technical uh, aspects or parameters that um, are uh, involved in the 
in the sensors that we are going to put in the in the devices. As you can see there, uh, the components the components of the uh, body core uh, sensors and the components of the uh, sensors of the bracelet. Next slide, please. Well, um, here you can see um, some technical aspects uh, for the body core board. Uh, that is uh, the main board that it will be controlled. All of the small sensors that will be located in some parts of the, of the upper limbs. And also you can see there um, the bracelet, the, the PCB uh, of the bracelet. Uh, the bracelet is going to have a, a small, a more small display. Next slide, please. Here, um, there, there are some parameters that uh, we, uh, we have taken into account in order to uh, uh, evaluate uh, the, the performance of the, each sensor. So uh, this, uh, this validation is uh, uh, regarding to the, um, to the maximum rates of uh, temperature in, on Mars and also to the minimum rates of temperature on Mars. Next slide, please. Here um, you can see uh, what are the, uh, the parameters that uh, are involved in the, the sensor uh, BMP280 uh, with uh, the microcontroller and also uh, about the module, the, uh, NRF 24L01. Uh, these devices has uh, some te technical requirements in order to communicate each uh, sensor. And also, uh, lastly, um, the the main uh, the main board will um, uh, will uh, obtain the the media. Uh, so uh, the promedium of the of the temperature of the human body just in the in the upper limbs. Next slide, please. Well, uh, here in this slide you can see uh, the bracelet. Uh, we, we now uh, we are working uh, in the in the second prototype of uh, the bracelet and also uh, the devices. Um, this this bracelet uh, will have, uh, as I as I told, a, a small display where uh, the uh, each part of the body will uh, will it will be colored uh, uh, according uh, if the temperature is going to be up uh, and is going to be low. Uh, 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 regarding um, some some aspects or 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 many variations about the temperature uh, not only on mars uh, the first uh, the first validation tests are uh, are developing uh, in latin america uh, in mexico and also in in peru next slide please next slide please okay here you can see um, the, the control system or, or how will be uh, controlled this uh, monitor, uh, monitoring uh, uh, system. Uh, first, uh, the sensors will be uh, acquired the, the signal or uh, the signal will be, uh, will be go to the main board and also with the sensor reading this uh, signal will be uh, passed through the data conversion. Uh, also, the data will be uh, sent to the saved uh, in the microcontroller, and this that data uh, will be sent to the bracelet and show the parameters. And also, this uh, uh, signal or this uh, uh, these uh, parameters uh, will be sent to the remote monitoring center. So. Uh, Always, when a, a mission is performed in, in the it will in some surface of 
any planet, uh, there will be two things that have to be important. One, the monitoring, uh, uh, the monitoring things uh, put in the in the body as a wearable, and also the data have to be sent to the command center. So uh, uh, that is why the uh, could be the like uh, the preservation of the human body uh, in uh, and monitoring remote monitoring uh, in other planets. Uh, next slide, please. Also, you can see here uh, other uh, other diagram about uh, the system of the bracelet. The uh, the last diagram were about how acquire the signal from the, the devices. Okay, and here you can see the diagram flow or workflow of the how to the bracelet will be will be work. Uh, next slide, please. Next slide. Perfect. This is a, the design of the bracelet. Um, we uh, we had uh, a lot of research about the ergonomics that uh, this bracelet bracelet uh, will be uh, uh, will have to the uh, have like a anthropometric uh, design. Uh, we use the the mesh measurements of the wrist from like uh, 150 uh, people and from uh, Latin America and Europe. Um, that, that, that are the, the measurements of the device. Uh, we, we got an award in US at uh, Mars University a Symposium in California this year. Um, uh, the award uh, was given for, uh, to us uh, for this design, this kind of design of the bracelet. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, the main materials of the of the bracelet uh, are the that you can see there. Um, the the main material is a titanium because the titanium has a, a good a characteristics to a, a, to work against some a, a, some extreme extreme parameters that are in other planets. Uh, you can see there Velcro uh, strap uh, and all of the materials that you can see there are titanium, like the astronauts has uh, or use uh, to go to some missions in space. And next slide, please. Well, um, for conclusions, uh, we have uh, as you can see there, uh, the project is going to be tested and validated at Mars Research Research Station in Utah uh, as part of a Peru 16 mission on May 2022. The purpose of this work is to obtain real-time values of body temperature during the exposure in extreme environments in order to prevent hyperthermia and hyperthermia symptoms that may affect the performance and health of the astronauts. It is expected that in the future the device will not only be able to monitor the temperature of the astronauts, but also other vital signs in order to obtain physiological values that allow us to understand how the human body behaves in a space and how to prevent possible risk situations for astronauts. Having a device like this that is called TIEVA, it is capable of collecting the different vital signs and physiological signals will also be useful in terrestrial applications in the field of hospital medicine and telemedicine. In both, it would allow the monitoring of patients in critical situations of recovering for uh, the early detection of health complications. This project uh, were presented at the Mars University Symposium 2021, where the organizers recommended the future work is to implement the mechatronic system to measure the temperature on the fluid cooling suite in order to design individual cooling loops for separate locations using the property of sensor location in the body, and it will be useful for the astronaut suit for uh, the next missions in space. The next slide, please. Uh, next, please. Uh, this is the, the same as 
Okay, so well, uh, this is a, a great pleasure to to present our research with you. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Bueno, muchas gracias, este, Paul. Eh, bueno, no sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta. Estamos un poquito tarde. Este, eh, pero bueno, le agradecemos igual el esfuerzo por, por conectarse y, a, y presentarnos este trabajo muy, muy interesante. Este, y bueno, le deseamos gracias. mucha suerte. Que sigue. Muchas gracias.